In my last video on bivariate data, we looked at this question from a Hazy and Harris textbook, uh, Year 12 General Maths, and it produced a scatter plot like this. But normally the second part to this sort of question is to produce a residual plot. So I want to show you how to convert this scatter plot into a residual plot. So to remember, a residual plot is basically the line of best fit becomes the x-axis, and these points move either side of the x-axis and it look we want it to be as random as possible rather than being uniform which would mean that it wouldn't be a good fit so to do that we go into stat plot and we have the first one on so we're going to go down to number two um, I'm going to turn this one on and it still lists one because it's still the x values but instead of list two it's we're going to write resid there and that is found in list and it should be number nine or around about there, maybe in a different place, but it'll be called resid. Obviously, if we go to graph now, we can sort of see it's down here, but it's still not in the right place because we've still got the first plot on and the first line on. So what I would suggest you do is to go to y equals and turn this one off. So I come across the equals and just press enter. And equally go into stat plot and turn plot one off. Again, we could adjust it to be um, a perfect fit if we went to window or we could take the the lazy option and go to zoom stat which is number nine and we can see there's our residual plot and if we want to look at each point we can trace along each point and have a look and there you go that's how you do a residual plot thanks for watching